What is the crack and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a GTA styled weapon wheel. Normally I would have it done and I'd show you guys how to do it. But this time I'm going to do it from scratch and just hope to God it works. So the first thing we're going to need is the actual weapon wheel itself. So I'm going to be using GIMP. You can use Photoshop or whatever uh, photo editing software you want. I'm just going to create a new layer. Delete this one. Make a circle. Again, it doesn't have to be a circle. You could do it as anything you want. It's going to increase the brush. And now just pretty much divide it up into a few pieces. Again, you can do it as many pieces as you want. I'm just going to do four. And again, <laughs> it isn't going to look the very best as I'm going to be trying to do this as fast as possible. To keep the video to a relatively short uh Lend. And I know in the video it doesn't look like a circle because I have it stretched, but on my screen it does. So save that off as whatever you want. I'm just going to call it weapon wheel. So weapon wheel. And I'm going to save it into my Unity project. Again, you can save it onto your desktop and get it from your desktop and then put it into it. But I just find this easier. So Unity videos. Nope, not library. Assets. And then just plop it there. And then when you go into Unity, Unity will instantly open it for you. Also, I don't know why it's saved as a JPEG. It should have saved as a PNG, but we will see if Unity can can fix that. Also, the dimensions were 512 by 512. You can, Again, you can do them 1024 by 1024. And nope, because GIMP changed it for some reason. It didn't work. Okay, so it needs to be a PNG to keep the transparency. So let me just do that again. Save it into Unity. And now you should see behind my face cam that the black is gone. So let me just show you here real quick. So there's the image down there below. Now what you do is create a canvas like we done for the blinking eye effect so go in here create UI I'm gonna click image it'll create a canvas for you then you go once you have that done go into your weapon wheel go make it from default to 2d sprite or UI and then go from single to multiple and then click uh, sprite editor apply and now just make sure that Slice it up, slice. Now it roughly picked the sizes for you. So again, you you might want to maybe scale it down a little bit and like resize it perfectly, so everything everything works well. But I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. The problem with leaving it this is because if you click in here, you might accidentally click that one. If you click in this corner, you might accidentally pick this one instead of that one. So a little problem here and there but if you spread them out enough and make it and actually if you made them <laughs> all equal sizes it would be fine so just a problem if you are rushing through it might be better just to take your time on it and it'll work a lot better so now we go in here press F to find it in your game it is all the way down there for some reason grab that and bring it up into your screen as you can see now on my player a random uh, Box has appeared on them. So then you go in here, drag your weapon wheel part into it. That's part zero. And again, as you can see, it's taken a little clip of the bottom, which again could be bad or could be good if you if you're gonna make it like a jigsaw type way. It'd be easy if you done this. Let me show you now. And now move this one up. Move this over. Don't know why it's going all airways. But again, I'm rushing through it, so if you did do it a little bit better, it would work. And let me duplicate this again, drag this one in there. Might have been a better idea to do this as a black. And then duplicate it one more time and drop this in here for the bottom one. Okay, and now I'm just going to actually go into the sprite editor one more time and fix it up a little bit because it's a, a little bit 
effect, to be honest. Okay, so about there. I'm just doing it to where the other pieces aren't in it. It's not going to look 100% like a weapon wheel now, but it'll, it'll look somewhat a little better. I might actually keep this for uh, a new game I'm thinking of making. It was one of the first games I came up with ages ago, but I never went with it. So now, as you can see, they are kind of broken, but the weapon wheel part will still work. I mainly go for the the, uh, the coding aspect. I don't really show you guys how to do the, uh, the making the game look good part. <laughs> I'm not the best at that. But now we're going to create a new script. I'm going to make it a Java. I think this is the first Java we've done. I'm just going to call it a weapon a wheel. Okay. Going to open this up now. Hope it doesn't crash. Come on. Come on, any sign of it crashing? We haven't got any sign of it opening. But we haven't got any sign of it crashing. But I don't know, it hasn't opened yet. And it crashed, as you can see. Which is always fun. Okay. I'm gonna leave this part in. Or I'll just cut it, I don't know. Depending on how long this takes to actually uh, come back. Okay, so open up your weapon wheel script. Again, you can call it whatever you want. You might want to put this on your game manager. The thing we made in the last video for the super hot tutorial. So once this opens in 42 years. Again, if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, we're going to create a variable. And we're going to call it um, wheel. Just wheel. Be the easiest way around it. And this is going to be a game of object and I haven't used Java in a while so if I get one or two of these things wrong I am sorry okay and we're gonna copy this and just make four more instances of it is that four one two three four yeah and call this just web web one and then web one two three four to swap them out two three Okay, so now on function start you want to go wheel if I could spell dot set active and then false. So on the beginning it's off and then if input dot get key down and I'm going to make this um, what's it called? I'm gonna make it I so for like inventory so key code dot I capital I and then we just go copy this part right here and make it true <laughs> you make it fact yes you make it true and then you literally just copy this paste it and you go, if it's up, make it false. And also you want to close off both of these. So let's see if this part works first. See if you have any errors, most likely we will. But it doesn't look like we do. Okay, so go to the game manager, which is somewhere that I can find. Um, game manager does not want to show, so I'll just show it on my player. Where's weapon wheel? Uh, weapon wheel, weapon wheel. This is a great video, isn't it? Can't find any of this stuff. Drag it on there. And as you can see, we have an error in the script because nothing popped up. So we need to go into the console. Which isn't giving us any errors. Unity is mess. Okay, here we go. It's updating it now. Why didn't it update it a minute ago? Okay. 
So the script did work. It was just Unity messing up. Okay. So let me close my rigid body so you guys can actually see here. So the wheel, the first thing you want to put in is your canvas. If you have other things on the canvas, this might not be a good idea. So I will maximize on play and play the game first, just to show you this. So if you press I, as you can see, the hood appears on the screen, which is good. I'm going to actually move it just a tad so it's a little bit more visible. So I'll move it up a little bit, move it more actually like over the player. And I'm going to change the color if I can to black. I can. Okay. Again, not the most beautifulest weapon wheel, but still. It's just the show how you do it. So there you go. There it is popping up. Now I'm going to show you when you actually click a certain part that certain effects or a weapon or two changes. So now I don't have any weapon models. So I'm just going to use cubes, uh, spheres and cylinders just to change it for the time being. So you're going to want them parented to your player or to your uh, player's hand at least. So I'm just going to go... Uh, click my player add a new cube and that is located miles away for some reason okay there we go unity is messing up for some reason in this video okay I need to scale that down and put that just there in his hand so you can see that it is actually there I'm also gonna go in and I should have a material or two that I can throw on it just so it's distinguishable and different so I'm gonna make it a um, black hole Probably okay. You can see now that it changed into some weird, weird crap. Okay, so click your player again. You would do this for all the types of uh, weapons buttons you have. I'm gonna do it four times again. If you have eight, you're gonna have to do this eight times with your different types of weapons. So now just do a cylinder. The good way about this that I'm gonna show you is if you do it where if you do it this way, once you change your weapon, whatever scripts you have on your guns will automatically be applied. So if you have one gun that shoots black holes, one gun that shoots grenade launchers, nothing else is going to be affected except for them. So it's really handy. And let me make uh, one more. I'll do sphere. I would do four, but just to, actually I will do four just to keep it. Just to keep the video simplistic. Well, not simplistic, but. You guys know what I mean. Um, cylinder. There we go. I was looking for a shape that I hadn't used. I could have used a, a quad, but that's just pretty much a plane. Uh, yeah, let's use that. That's that's definitely different. Okay. So now you go into your script. Go in here and create two more functions. Or four more functions. Sorry. So function. Uh, weapon. Again, you can call this whatever you want. You, you might call it function pistol if you want to go to your pistol. Uh, function machine gun if you want to go to that. I'm just going to call it function weapon 1, 2, 3, 4. Just to keep it simplistic. So, And then in here you would literally go get your weapon wheel. That you just had here. Copy this. Paste it in. But then swap it out with the name of whatever you made your first weapon. So weapon 1. Again, copy this. Make four more instances of it or well three more my bad go in here two three four and then make the first one true and now you copy this make three more instances of that make that weapon two make that weapon tree and make this one weapon four and now all you do is change these accordingly back to either false or true the one thing i like about uh, using c sharp is if i started pressing true it would instantly tell like predict what i wanted so and there let's copy this make that one false and this one false and that is pretty much it there's oh, there's one or two more bits you need to set up but other than that that is the coding part done. Again, if you wanted more weapons, you would have to add a lot more into it and probably make the weapon wheel <laughs> a good bit more detailed and actually probably have a bit of text saying like pistol, machine gun, grenade launcher, or like, or you could do it as clothes. Like you could swap out clothes and have it like blue t-shirt, 
blue jeans, y yellow hat. Like you could do anything with this. It's just you would have to change the code. Okay, so these three things I'm gonna also add in the uh, black black hole effect to it, just so you can actually see it over the white background. And let me click my player and drag these in. You can put these in whatever you want. I'm just gonna put them in the order I made made them in. So for weapon one, I'm gonna use the cube. For weapon two, I'm gonna use the capsule. Weapon three, sphere, and weapon four, a cylinder. And then you go into your canvas click your image, go over here at component and go button. Now you want to do that three more times. You could literally just go copy component, go here, paste component as new. And then with all four of them selected to do that, just click one, then click shift or hold shift and then click the last one. Then go click the little plus button right here. It's going to ask for an object. The script that you put the object on you drag in normally it would be your game manager but I couldn't seem to find it for some reason so I'm just going to drag in my player eventually when unity realizes there you go and now for this you would go function weapon wheel weapon one in here function weapon wheel weapon two weapon three and weapon four so now hopefully I don't know as you can see, all of them are instantly on, which is not good. But as you can see here, when you click them, they change. So that would be your different weapons changing. I know you can see things are being shot out. The reason things are being shot out is because I still have the grenade launcher script applied onto my player. But as you can see, like even if you click where the buttons were, nothing's going to happen. Hold I and you swap. The reason why they all popped up at once is because in here you would also probably want to go... And make your weapon two, three, and four. Whatever weapon you don't, the weapon you don't want to start with are gonna be false. So the weapon you want to start with, you don't put in here. And then you just click save, go back, let Unity take a week to to update it, and then press play. And then you will see I should start with the cube, as you can see. Then I go in here, and you can swap out whatever weapon. You so wish. Pretty handy. You could also, if you wanted, just real quick, I'm just going to check how long this video has been. 17 minutes. Oh, good. Oh, good. But um, you could go in here and add like a currency and make it if your currency is ab above a certain amount, amount, you could buy it or experience and then you can unlock that weapon if you had this and that. So I might do a second video up on top of this, advancing it a little bit more and adding more detail to it, actually swapping out weapons that do different effects. But for now, that is it. Thank you very much to Sketches for this suggestion. Um, I hope this video wasn't too long or too complicated. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. There will not be a live stream tonight as I'm going out again drinking, I believe. But anyway, thank you guys and I hope to see you guys in another video real fucking soon. Again, thank you guys and yeah. Bye.